So I've done a video in the past talking about ships and shipping. And if you don't know what that is, that's when people want two or more fictional characters or celebrities to end up in a relationship together. And it's typically on the romantic side. Now, I wish I was talking about boats and cargo, but I'm not. We're going to be talking about ships with YouTubers and how it's kind of affecting a fandom and community. Now I've gone over this before, but this is one of my favorite like Google questions that are asked. It says, why do I ship characters? And I just love the fact that somebody was like, why do I do this? I can't, I can't help myself. Why? And so the reason people do this is it's a self narrative therapy. When you ship two characters, you're identifying, creating, or rooting for a fictional relationship that helps you pinpoint your own romantic desires. Oftentimes this says more about the person making the ship rather than the two characters being shipped. With that explanation out of the way, I wanna introduce the two YouTubers that we'll be talking about. I've talked about both of them on the channel briefly in the past, Jaden Animations and The Odd Ones Out. Now, of course, off the bat, we have to acknowledge that there are certain rules to the internet and whether you're a celebrity or a fictional character, there's going to be artwork made of you, whether you want it to be made or not. And most of the time, it's gonna be decent, like wholesome artwork, who cares? You know, maybe they're holding a flower or something. And then sometimes it's some deplorable stuff that's not safe for work. And even if you don't have a job, you shouldn't be looking at it. Of course, I say that in jest. If you're age appropriate, you can look at whatever you want. I personally don't have any issue with not safe for work art. I know that certain artists have intentions to make artwork for adults. And you can find most of that stuff locked away on, you know, forums that have an 18 plus gateway. But sometimes that stuff leaks out onto the internet and gets accessible for almost anybody to see. I think that's why the not safe for work speedrun trend on YouTube started popping off more and more this year. You type in any character onto Google and people would just scroll down until they found some lewd artwork of them. And that was a trend that was going on for a while there. With that preface off my chest, Jaden Animations and the Odd Ones Out are no strangers to having not safe for work imagery made of them. Now, unfortunately, with those two, there comes a lot of shipping as well. A lot of people in their fandoms and in their communities, for some reason, want to see these two together. Maybe it's because they adore or they're obsessed with both of them. Remember that shipping says a lot more about the person making the ships than it does about the people being shipped. So if you're a fan of Jaden Animations and you're a fan of The Odd Ones Out, you're going to be like, God, I wish they were together. I wish they were my mom and dad and they'd take me to an uh, In-N-Out Burger, give me an animal style french fry. Now, the weird thing about making this lewd shipping artwork about these two actual humans that have animation channels is that one of them definitely has a loved one or girlfriend, if you want. That being James or, you know, if you want to know his actual first name Robert so when people are shipping Jaden and James together it's kind of making a little bit of a weird tension there in their relationship as friends I can imagine that it's already weird enough to see a not safe for work image of the mascot of your channel but imagine somebody that you have a business relationship as well as a friendship with and people are drawing lewd sexual imagery of you two together now that's just gonna be super weird. Now Jaden Animations and The Odd Ones Out have a very young demographic. Their fans are young people and I'm sure seeing some of this stuff is very harmful to them. Hopefully not a lot of people get access to this, but of course some stuff will just leak out onto Google images and anybody will be there able to see it. Now when I looked up what Jaden Animations or The Odd Ones Out think about the not safe work art that people make of them, I didn't find any response from them. And for the most part, I think that the two creators, they just ignore it because they have to. They realize that their mascots are now almost property of the internet. And I came to that understanding through a comment on a video that I made recently. Whether you want something to be out there or not, it's not up to you. If you are an internet creator or a content creator or celebrity of any kind, your image is now up for grabs for anybody to do anything they want with it. I know shipping can tear some fandoms apart and can create a lot of toxicity. Let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comments below. I'll be down there checking them out. I'll see y'all next time. Everybody take care. Later.